in some way the pulmonary veins are causing AFib. And this has been known for more than a decade, maybe two, sorry, more than two decades ago, that electricity from the veins, electrical signals from the veins, when they enter the when they enter the heart may cause either PACs, ATAC, or AFib. Depends on a bunch of factors including how fast they come out, if the cells are ready to receive the signal, it will cause a PAC. If the entire atria is ready, it will cause a PAC. If part of the atria is ready, it could cause AFib because it, the signal doesn't travel all the way. Normally, if the signal travels like that, it will give a PAC. But if the signal, instead of traveling like that, it travels like this, it will start causing AFib. So, based on the on studies on animals and then in humans, we they recognized way before I started doing EP that if you have PACs coming from the pulmonary veins and you have, let's say you have scar here, then the wave is going to go around, you could start having AFib. And the more scar you have, the more areas you have for the electricity, you know, it will come like that and now it will come like this and it's going around here as well. And now we get stuck here. Question. While at the same time it's stuck over there. Yeah. So does the scar act like as a negative instead of, and then everything else around it's the positive of the cell? Or slows the, con does it slow the conduction? It has to do with, uh, with slowing of conduction okay. more than, uh, more than like, the positive, positive and negatives. Or yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you give us a hammer, which is a cath that can burn cells, and everything is a nail. So, how do we treat this? Well, if the arrhythmias are coming from the pulmonary veins firing, what we're going to do is, how about if we just create a line of burns around the pulmonary veins? That way, when the electrical signal wants to get into the heart,